Hey, it's Mike. Thank you for joining me again. Here's video number four in the Baseball Cards 100 series. I'm going to jump right into it today. I uh, just want to encourage you to subscribe if you're not already and uh, click that bell icon so you get the notifications when I post a new video. I've been doing anywhere from one to four videos a week all about sports cards, baseball, basketball, um, and I still have a lot more in this series, the Baseball Cards 100, um, and so I have another video coming out about the collection I bought, I'm working on another collection buy, and uh, a collection that I ended up not buying, but after some negotiation and meeting with the person fell through. So click that subscribe button. And another note, I, I thought it was really cool, I mentioned it in last week's video, Joe Posnanski saw this on Twitter and retweeted it, calling it this series uh, really darn cool. So uh, really excited to have Joe see this series. Remember, this is about his Baseball 100 book. It's using the same rankings, the same players, in the same order as he did. So thank you, Joe, and let's jump right in. Cool Papa Bell uh, played in the Negro Leagues from 1922 to 1946. Understandably, because of that timeline, he does not have very many cards. This first one would be, I guess, his rookie card, the 1974 Laughlin Old Time Black Stars. His next card here is the 1988 Negro League Stars. Nice photo of him. And then the 1978 Grand Slam card. A pretty similar photo, too. Phil Necro is similarly all vintage all the time. This is his 1969 Topps card, where he appears to not have any teeth, which I found funny. Then his 1968 Topps card, where they pose him for some reason. 1967 Topps, again, back then they did all these weird poses. And then the 1966 Topps, which was his first solo card. And the 1965 Topps Rookie Stars with Clay Carroll. And here is his 1964 Topps Rookie Stars, his true rookie card. Kid Nichols played from 1890, 1890 to 1906, so it's understandably difficult to find any cards for him. But this is an uh, 1887 Old Judge Cigarettes card. And so is this one. There were many variations of him on these cards. This one is the 1890 Mayo Cut Plug and the 1899 Chickering Boston Bean Eaters card. And this is the 1961 Fleer Baseball Greats. Goes for about $100 as a PSA 8. Here's the back of it. This is the really closest to modern. This is Fergie Jenkins' 1982 Red Lobster card. You know I love these oddball cards, so I had to throw this one in there. This is the 1970 Topps Fergie Jenkins card. This is the 1969 Topps Pitching Leaders with Bob Gibson and Juan Marichal. This is the 1968 Topps card. Nice close-up of him. And this is the 67 Topps, his first with the Cubs, where he went on to have his best years. And this is his rookie card, the 1966 Topps Rookie Stars with Bill Sorrell. This is the 1977 Topps Carlton Fisk with uh, Willie Randolph of the Yankees scoring on him. I thought it was a great, great action shot. This is the 1973 Kellogg's Pro Superstars. Again, a little oddball. This is the 1993 Topps Finest Refractor card. I've actually used this card in most, uh, in every guy who's available. I just really enjoy that set. And it's actually the only modern or non-vintage card I've thrown into this video. Another great action shot here in the 1974 Tops where he's guarding the plate. And 1973 Tops, this is his first solo shot after winning Rookie of the Year. And here is his true rookie 1972 Tops rookie stars with Cecil Cooper and Mike Garman. Okay, so that's all for this one. Next week, hopefully, um, video number five will be numbers 79 through 75. And that is Derek Jeter, Clayton Kershaw, Miguel Cabrera, uh, Willie McCovey, and Justin Verlander. So uh, four out of the five are much more modern players, whereas this week uh, it was five vintage players. So a nice bounce back and forth between the two. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.